Hi, today we're going to give you an overview of the CBT drive system uh, on the Benchy 400, 500, and 700 models. Um, we're going to talk about the primary clutch, secondary clutch, and belt removal and inspection. Um, it's very important that this area stays clean and parts are operating correctly to get the optimal performance out of your Benchy. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the drive belt and inspect it. Um, we're going to inspect it for any kind of abnormal wear um, and make sure that the sheaves on the secondary clutch and the primary clutch are in good condition as well. First of all, to remove the belt, you have to spread the sheaves open on the secondary clutch. By doing this, a six millimeter bolt, insert this in the jack hole here and here. It's got four holes, you just need to use two of them, two bolts, and when tightening these bolts, you want to do it in steps to avoid overstressing the secondary clutch sheave. So what we're going to do is, we're going to tighten these bolts and allow this belt to drop into the secondary, giving enough slack to go ahead and remove it. Okay, now with the sheave spread open on the secondary, the spring collapsed. You can see we have enough slack in our belt to go ahead and remove it. Uh, if uh, just inspecting the belt, you definitely want to go ahead and mark the direction of rotation on the belt to make sure that you install it the correct direction. Now I'm going to remove it. I find it easier to slip this off the secondary. So I'm going to pull hard on this thing and rotate it counterclockwise. Okay, now we got the belt removed. We're going to look to see if there's any cracking inside the cogs of the belt in this area. Also, you want to inspect the width. There is a specification in your uh, Benchy service manual that gives you a minimum width uh, the belt could be before it's beyond service limits. So if it's beyond that, you replace it. Here's how we're going to measure this. We're going to measure it in three different spots just to make sure that we have a straight belt and it's not abnormally worn. See, we have 31 millimeters here, a little over 31 millimeters there, and approximately the same measurement on that part of the belt as well. That is well within the service limits, um, so we're going to go ahead and reinstall the belt. First of all, I want to make sure that my secondary clutch is in good condition. These sheaves, they've got to be clean. No oil, no gouges. These are aluminum, they're soft. You've got to be careful when working on these. Um, this one's fine. Look at it and inspect it. Now we have the primary clutch. Primary clutch, same thing. It's got to be clean. These sheaves have to be free from any damage or debris or scratches and periodically you're going to want to lubricate these rollers that are underneath this cover. It should have a molly disulfide grease paste lubricated on the rollers to ensure proper primary CVT operation. Once we've verified that our CVT is ready to be reassembled, we'll take the belt and we'll reinstall the same way we took it off. Wrap it around the primary clutch and work it over the secondary clutch. There. Now we've got to take the jack bolts out that we installed to remove the belt. And I like to do that in steps as well. Keep the secondary clutch from going uh, sideways. Okay. 
Okay, so now we got the bolts removed from the secondary. This will reposition itself once you start the unit. And you can watch the range of motion on the CBT when you run it in a neutral. Um, the, the primary clutch will contract as the RPMs increase as well as the secondary will expand. Um, and again, if you don't have the correct parts or they're worn out, you will not get the performance out of your Vinci that you will. These parts are in good serviceable condition. Um, if you have any questions uh, concerning this, feel free to contact your Vinci dealer or contact the tech support at Vinci. Thank you.